my old dear time taxi, yes, we have company, the right royal architender in Diva Call, on death's door, which we should be going away from and not knocking on. This time is knocking off. We need to get to Maid Marius and find her somewhere. It's a large planet full of sacrificial people jumping up and down, looking like some sort of pants people. Ah. Well, maybe, Architender. You can be calm now. Diva Kong may be on her last legs, but I have a leg up my sleeve. Well, sort of a last limb. Actually, we can go here. Welcome to Lally's, and you're certainly welcome to it. It's falling apart. Yes, just me in a tiny little stall here. I remember the days when Lally's was going to rule the universe. And now, oh, well, we're just a table and a couple of items. Some shelves round the back if you want them. Anyway, though you might be wondering what it is that we at Lally's used to do. Well, as I say, we used to control things with our hypnotic power. And now I can't even get, like, three of you paying attention to me. Right, so basically what's happening is, bargain of the century, uh, you can can have anything on this table, life-giving cup, uh, a random sort of card with a thing about the, I don't know, the breath zone, whatever that is, and uh, other things, all yours, for whatever number you shout out, it can be yours. Infinity! Infinity! They've all got it infinitimony. That's not right. Anyway, I am the infamous... Uh, Professor Homage, and you are desperately looking for a sale, yes. Well, something like that, yes, but Infinity, I'm not sure that you've got the credit for that. What's that in your pocket? Is that a sonic screwdriver? You're just pleased to see me. Uh, no, I think you're getting your franchises in a muddle. Untie them, and, uh, well, I've got, uh, oh yes, this coin. Shram bucks from an underwater casino. Very rare. I think it sank. I can give this to you if I have the, uh, yes, the card to the breath so Not really interested in that. Life-giving cup. Does it work on immortals? Hmm. But, uh, well, you know, a mortal can't die. I think you're barking up the wrong hole in the ground there. Ah, well, yes, but can I have it anyway? Uh, emotional keepsake, to keep me away from my emotions, for goodness sake. Well, if you like, that's all right. You sure you don't want this card with, uh, you know, the breath thing on it, breath zone on it? No interest to me, no thank you. I'll have the life-giving cup, thank you very much, and enjoy this coin of the realm of the underwater wet casino. Cheerio! Farewell, laddies. Oh, Mr. Cortex has gone sacked. Did you see that? Once upon a time. Boring. Okay, maybe twice upon a time. Yeah. Infinitely upon a time. Have I got your attention now? Come on, stop looking over there. Yes, I know your normal teacher had a bit of a incident. He got frozen by one of his own pupils... Yes, Dolores shouldn't have been mucking about with the wand. Yeah, I'm sure they'll look after Mr. Cortex. Y yes, he, he is frozen like a lump. Yes. Yes, he is a bit lush. Oh, and now he's a what? He's a slushy. He's a witch lord slushy. Yes, very funny. Anyway, George, Gina, don't do that. Anyway, so um, I'm here, your substitute temporal teacher, while Mr. Cortex is being, I don't know, defrosted... I'm sure they will defrost him. They won't just leave him in a cupboard or send him back in time and forget about him. What's the chance of that happening? <clears throat> anyway, I'm here to tell you a tale in the meantime about times of, um, well, the, not the current time, the past, when the gods of witchcraft were a little bit naughty. Ah, got your attention now. No, not, not as naughty as Dolores and her wand. The Breath Zone. Yes. Definitely got your attention this time. The Brett Zone. Is it just legend? Is it real? Is it where the original witch lords, including Naughty Cran, made 
people who are not, well, time friendly or didn't have magic powers fight against each other just for fun. Of course, they didn't enjoy it, but the witch lords did. Well, I've got a map of it here. Well, I say a map. I mean, it's, it's part of a legend. It's... Hang on. Wait a minute. Who's been playing with my map? You all have been in here with magic scissors and magic glitter. Somebody's definitely cut a square out of my magic map about the bread zone. That's very naughty. If that fell into the wrong hands, do you understand? You don't. The bread zone is only for witch lords, bad witch lords who have all been dealt with. If any other creature got their hands on the technology of this, let's just face it, magic arena, they could, well, make people fight for infinity. Make people fight for things they didn't fight for. I don't know, even flex the one star. <laughs> you know? Right. Oh, that's the lunch bell. Well, yes, go and have some magic lunch now, and I'll deal with this holy mess of the hole in my map of the bread zone. Who'd do such a thing? Honestly, what's the universe like? Doctor Witch featured Elliot Stewart as Professor Hamage, the Lally's representative, the Wikiversity teacher, and is written by Elliot Stewart and is an Invisible Commission's production.